Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make a perfect teardrop naan. What I have here is uh, around 40 to 50 gram naan uh, dough, um, which I've slightly dusted uh, the work surface with a little bit of flour, so the naan does not stick while I flatten it out. Now, what I'm going to do is just apply a little bit of oil here on the dough and flatten it evenly, so we get a perfect circular shape. Now a good naan dough should usually have the right amount of sugar, salt, egg, a little bit of oil and the right quantity of water. Right? Here we go. That's we've got a perfect circular shape now. Now all what you're gonna do, what you're gonna do is now I'm gonna just uh, get this in my hand and just move it in a circular motion. So we get that's it. That's all done. I'm going to play, place it on the rest. Right. Now what I'm going to do is usually now here we how we this how we create a tree tier drop shape, right? That's how you would create a perfect tree drop shape. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the knife and I'm going to just make some holes on it. Now this is usually done so the naan does not puff, right? Here we go. I'm just quickly going to get put some a little bit of water on it so the naan should stick properly on the walls of the tandoor. You have to make sure that the tandoor is at the right temperature because if it's too hot, the naan's going to burn, and if it's too cold, if it's not ex to the right temperature and it's uh, uh, too cold, then uh, the naan won't stick on the walls. So we're going to make sure I've got a perfect temperature at the moment. That's the charcoal tandoor which I'm using by the way. It's not a gas uh, uh, operated. This is the one that we traditionally use. Now I'm going to do is going to place this right, right here. Here we go. Okay. Now that's cooking evenly all around. You see then we have some the dawn puffing up. What are we gonna do is slightly use this hook there and just break this, just make some holes there. So that I always prefer to use a charcoal tandoor rather than a gas one because I feel that it's, it, it gives you even heat, the naan comes out perfectly and the flavor is just right with the charcoal. So for me, I would usually prefer a charcoal over a gas. And uh, it usually takes around, say, a minute, minute and a half for the naan to cook evenly. All right, here we go. That's it. Just another few more seconds to go and then the naan should be ready. There's a nice color coming on there, on the naan, which means that the naan is almost getting ready to be taken out of the tandoor. Here we go, here we go, here we go. And now we will take it out because now it's all evenly, if you look, it's all evenly cooked, all the edges are cooked, everything is fine. So now I'm going to use this, uh, these two sets of uh, equipments to remove the naan, right? What I'm going to do is I'm just going to scrape it a little bit on the walls, right? To make sure that it comes out properly. Right, here we go. That's it. And we take it out. Right. So what we're going to do is just apply a little bit of butter on it. So you get the butter on. Right. Here's my brush with the butter. And that's it. Go. You're perfect, not.